Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first Let's Play. Uh, this channel I'm going to be focusing mainly on uh, hidden object games. So, uh, the first game in our Let's Play series here is going to be The Secret Order, New Horizon, which is the uh, first of many Secret Order games to come out over the past, I don't know, 10 or so years. So this is the first one. And yeah, so let's get started without further ado. Aunt Sarah, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm Mike, your nephew, from the future. I'll explain later. You've got to help me. You've got to help me restrain this thug. All right, so would you like to play the tutorial? Uh, no, I have actually played this game before, so I'm going to skip tutorial. All right, so here we go. So, he's got a gun pointed at this thug that tried to kill us. Let's go have a look at this car, shall we? And here we are to, with our first hidden object scene. So, let's see, we've got baseball bat. Handgun. Uh, watch. I think that is a watch. There we go. We got some, yeah. anything of interest here? Nope. There is no like click penalty here, which is nice. Uh, how should I pick this up? Good question. I guess we gotta roll the window down, I suppose. Uh, coin, fuse, handcuffs. There's another gun there. Knife. I have to put a smile on the face. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's our handle. We can put that there. Roll the window down. And now we can access the uh, rear view mirror, which is kind of silly because we can just walk around technically. But hey, it's... Hidden object game logic, I suppose. Uh, handcuffs. A taco meter. Uh, taco meter. A tachometer. I don't know. Probably mispronouncing that. Uh, hmm. There's our fuse. Oh, coin. And notepad. There's a notepad. Police badge. Oh, what's this? Oh, there we go. Smiley face and binoculars. We've been looking at those binoculars for a while there. Uh, police badge. No, okay, there's a taco meter. Uh, spring. Spring, spring, spring. Where might that be? Okay. Ooh, what's this? Ah, there's our police badge. So we got one thing left. Hmm. <laughs> it's got to be here somewhere. I don't want to use the hint box. Don't make me use the hint box. There's a lot of springy things in the scene, isn't there? So it's a little bit difficult. It's kind of, um... Oh, that looks like a spring. See, that looks like a spring right there. There's so many things. I, like, that looks like a spring, but that's attached to that. I want to use the hint box as little as possible. This is problematic. All right, I guess we're going to use a hint. Ah, see right there? Oh, my God, that is so easy to miss. I hate cheating, but 
There we go. So we found some handcuffs. So we found a fuse. Uh, these will come in useful, I reckon. So let's go to the scene here. Uh, what do we, oh, that's not what I want. I want my inventory there. To, there's my inventory. I'll handcuff the guy. All right. And we've got a uh, little puzzle to solve here. It looks like the, this is a photograph of some sort. Uh, perhaps that goes there. Uh, there we go. Looks like some sort of 1950s style restaurant. At least that's what my imagination wants to tell me. Uh, do we, there we go. There's that top right corner. Uh, there we go, there we go. Siemens. All right, we got some weird. It's gonna sit there. Yeah, it looks like a photograph of very kind of old-fashioned style, you know, like early 20th century architecture. Target: Sarah Pennington. Objective: Interrogation, Elimination. Type of mission: TTA Time Travel ass Assassination. Siemens Restaurant. Sunboard City. Interesting. So it seems like someone was interested in killing us. My assassin knows my name, and you seem to think we're related. My nephew from the future. That's insane. I'll explain everything, Aunt Sarah, I promise. But I've been hurt. Let's go inside your restaurant. All right, so we're going to head inside. Oh, the wind's knocked out the electricity. Hmm. Even if he's lying, he saved my life and he needs my help. But first, the lights. Okay, so we got to go try to turn the lights on. I like these games. It kind of reminds me a bit of, like, Mist. Uh, with a bit more of a hidden object theme, obviously. Because Mist wasn't really a hidden object, it was more of an adventure puzzle game. But this kind of fuses two types of game styles together, I suppose. And what have we got here? We've got some keys. Ooh, okay. The key with a power little tag attached to it. So let's go into the storeroom and take a look. I'm guessing that... In Unlocks the fuse. Let's take our. Whoops. Interface here is a little wonky. There we go. Grab our key. And take a look inside. What do we got here? Uh, Alright, so we need to find two more fuses. We've got one fuse. Uh, and another fuse is missing, so. What do we have in here? Another fuse. What do you know? What do you know? Uh, I think we're good to go then. We've got all our fuses. So, complete. We've got to fix the wires now. I'll have to fix the wire. Well, yeah, sure. I will fix the wires. I have played this game before, but it's a little wonky in the order, you know. Uh, okay, we've got a toolbox. Anything of interest? We've got a screwdriver. Okay, there we go. That that could be useful. Uh, so another wire, and 
Anything else we can pick up? Don't think so. I think we're done here. So we can go back to the fuse box. Let's try our wire. There we go. Can we flick the switch now? There must be a certain order I need to follow. Okay. One. There's only a few ways to do this. Uh, okay. There we go. And it looks like the lights are working. So now we can go attend to Mike. Looks like he's not feeling too well. He's got a bit of a cut here on his arm. I need a first aid kit in order to bandage his wound. All right, so let's go back into the kitchen. Let's have a look for this first aid kit, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna guess the first aid kit would be somewhere in here. Somewhere in the storeroom again, possibly. Uh, maybe not, but you would think, right? I suppose not. Oh, we can open this drawer. That looks like a first aid kit to me. And, right, I think that's it. That's all we needed, right? All right. All right, so I'm no me medic, so I'll have to follow the diagram on the inside of the box lid. All right, so we gotta use the scissors. Uh, all right, and then, let's see. Painkilling, painkillers. Oh. I suppose not, huh? Okay, bandaging the wound. All right, we got the tape. All right. I'm grateful for your help. That man was part of the mafia that rules this city in the future. Let me prove time travel is impossible. This accident happened exactly 25 years ago. The limit of my portable time device. I can send you back to that time. Make sure that accident never happens. All right. All righty. All righty then. It looks like we jumped back a few decades. It seems like a dream. It's the city I remember from childhood. All right, well, after that wonky puzzle, let's continue our search here. What is our, we actually have objectives, don't we? Oh, we've got another hidden object scene, so we might as well get this out of the way. Uh, adhesive tape, where are you? All right, not gonna use hints, not gonna use hints. We got ourselves a paper clip. Uh, Flyers, squeegee, what's that, nope, bottle, oh, we got a frame, so you need to make that frame red, we got a paintbrush here, stick it in the paint, or not, there we go. And there we go. We got a red frame. A pencil. Pencil, pencil, pencil. There we go. There's our pencil. Tweezers. Ribbon. Screwdriver. Ladder. Rag. There's a rag. And any bottles. Oop. What would that be? That would be part of the camera. There we go. We got our camera and hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, we can pull this. What do we got in here? Adhesive tape. Hammer. There's our hammer. Oh, uh, there's our squeegee. And lastly, there's our hammer. Bow compass, bottle, 
There we go. There's our bottle. We're all set. So we found a ladder, some duct tape, and a dry rag. Time to move on. All right, so we got Park Street here. I grew up here where I felt safe, and the town was so beautiful. Pretty cool. And uh, what have we got here? This won't open without a handle. All right, let's go look for a handle then. What do we have in here? A screwdriver. Well, we got a screwdriver with us, so we'll use that. There we go. Oh, this isn't quite ready to turn on yet. It looks like, oh, but we got ourselves a handle and we got ourselves a light bulb. So we can head back here where we'll put our handle on and now we can hopefully open this. Yep, there we go. Now we got some wiring to uh, mess with. So, where to begin? That looks like that would fit in there. Uh, that, well, there. Then we got uh, another blue-green com. We got two. We got a green-blue combination. And we got a blue. Nation, there and there. So that gives us hmm. That doesn't seem right. Where do we have a green and red combo? Oh no. No. No 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 no. Right, let's do This, uh, nope, got an extra blue. Okay, we got an extra blue here. Uh, so I'm gonna move that over there. We've got, uh, oh man, okay. Nope. I'm gonna solve this, I'm not gonna use hints. No hints for, no hints for me. Ever, perhaps, burn out. I'm yeah. I'm thinking this is gonna have to go over here. Then we can put this here, and then we've got the one red wire. We'll stick there. Uh, then a green. Oh, oh. Okay. We're gonna have to use the green and red here. And, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. That should not be there. Uh, yeah, we got those mixed up. Whoopsies. There we go. And, perfect. Uh, it looks like our puzzle is solved. All right, can we interact with this now? see nope um, it, perhaps we missed something ah I can't reach the traffic light without a ladder so we have to use our ladder here take a look at this oh look at that we don't have a bulb what I'm pretty sure that's supposed to go in here Seriously? Oh, we're supposed to clear that. There we go. Okay. Zap. All right. We just changed time there. Seaman celebrates a hundred years. Interesting. 
You've rewritten history. It feels good, doesn't it? Rectifying past mistakes. There's a more important event that must be reversed, but you have to travel further back in time than my device allows. Before you can make the trip, you must reassemble a more powerful time machine. This griffin wing belonged to your father. I have had it since I was a child, and I was told to reveal its secrets to you. Is it familiar to you? Yes, it is familiar. My father used to tell a tale about it. When I close my eyes, I see an airship. It's the picture on the wall. All right, so we've got ourselves a griffin wing. So let's have a look inside here. Aunt Sarah, I came to help, but I must return to my own time before the Mafia retakes control of the time machine. Please take this. We can communicate with each other across space and time. So what have we got now? We got our communicator. Nice. Mike, are you there? Is this thing working? Yes, Aunt Sarah. It's working perfectly. I'm sorry I had to leave you, but I had to return to my own time to prevent the Mafia from taking control of a time machine. Cool. Alright, so now we can look at a current objective, which is to open the safe. And I'm guessing that's going to be here. So let's have a look. The lock mechanism resembles a griffin, and it's missing a wing. Well, aren't you lucky we've got one here, right there. All right. So, time to mess around with this puzzle. Uh, we've got the white covered. So I think we've got to, what we gotta do is focus on not covering the white. Okay, maybe something like that. Sort of like a triangular shape. Uh, that kind of matches. Now we now green is our problem. Ah, there we go. Problem solved. That took us a little bit too long, but now we can open up the case. And what do we got here? It looks like a photo fragment. And we found the Griffin Codex. Click anywhere to close the window. My darling Sarah, my daughter, it's so hard to write this knowing that if you're reading it, that means we have failed in our duty to protect time. But I am cheered in the knowledge that our nightly story ritual has led you to this, your destiny. You remembered the story about the griffin wing kept in an airship. Now you understand why I told you this story before tucking you in each night. You must know that you hold our future in your hands. Every single page of this codex, hidden separately and carefully, contains relevant pieces of information about us to ensure the survival of our secret order, called the Order of the Griffin. You need to find them all. As I write this, our order is in great danger. Once we were strong and could check evil's influence, but those times are gone. Our formal leaders served well and fought their fights against the dark forces to create a safe world for everyone. But something went wrong. It was as if time itself conspired against our order. The dragons, as they called themselves, got wind of the time machine and confirmed its existence. Our wise ancestors banned time travel and deprived the machine of its heart by portioning the rings among the members of the Secret Five. Traditionally, the rings had been passed down from parent to heir, but the chain needs to be broken, and we have to hide them all. The fact that you found this codex means that the Secret Five is gone. If the city you live your days in is a city where no one would want to live, know that we lost the war against the dragons, but since you have found this codex, hope survives. If you're brave and your heart is strong, follow our instructions and use your intuition to secure the future. May 5th, 1963. 
The future may lie in your hands. A brave human is what it demands. In the center building down below, you might find the obsidian glow. Interesting. So. Mike, in the safe I found a codex. It seems my dad was a member of a secret society called the Order of the Griffin. They used a time machine protected by special rings. There's a hint of one of the ring's locations, near the old center building, which is a construction site now. I need to go there. You're right. Your father was a very important person in the Order of the Griffin. If he hadn't died, the Mafia, known as the Dragons, couldn't have taken control over the city. You must continue alone on the mission we were meant to do together. Be careful. There's danger looking around every corner. Nice. All right, so our next objective is to get out of the restaurant. But I think that is where we're going to end the video. And in part two, we'll continue our story in the first hidden object game, The Secret Order New Horizons. So uh, I will see you guys next time as we continue our adventure here.